classic poem is titled, No More Clichés, by Octavio Paz. Yeah. Beautiful face, that like a daisy opens its petals to the sun, so do you open your face to me as I turn the page. Enchanting smile, any man would be under your spell. Oh, beauty of a magazine. How many poems have been written to you? How many Dantes have written to you, Beatrice, to your obsessive illusion, to you manufacture fantasy? But today, I won't make one more cliche and write this poem to you. No, no more cliches. This poem is dedicated to those women whose beauty is in their charm, in their intelligence, in their character, not on their fabricated looks. This poem is to you women that, like a Shahrazad, wake up every day with a new story to tell, a story that sings for change, that hopes for battles, battles for the love of united flesh, battles for passions aroused by a new day, battle for the neglected rights, or just battle to survive one more night. Yes, to you woman in a world of pain, to you, bright star in this ever-spending universe, to you, fighter of a thousand and one fights, to you, friend of my heart. From now on, my head won't look down to a magazine. Rather, it will contemplate the night and its bright stars. And so, no more cliches. <laughs> Tulips over roses. <laughs> I like you so much. I want to punch you in the face just to make sure you're real. That's what you told me on our first date. Which makes me question both my safety and how you handle real life situations, asking for validation of the truth by punching anything you see. Like, is Diet Coke really zero calories? I don't know. Let me see. I question you, and I like that. Because it's these quirky things that make me like you even more. These overarching questions waiting for answers to be spoken. To open these closed doors of yours. To dig deep within the labyrinth of your mind and no matter how much I try, I, I still get lost in your eyes. But not because of the beauty, but because of the truths you try to hide. Swollen bags under the cup of your eyes, just trying to keep awake. A weak smile to compensate for the lack of sleep the past few weeks. Balancing schoolwork with family life. A national qualifying speech and debater with a second job as a tutor. Teaching kids their subtraction and sums. And there are actually some things you can teach me to keep things in mind. And I can't help but stutter over my lines because you're just so amazing. And it's taking me time to organize my thoughts into words. My feelings into the curves of your smile. Because you deserve every compliment I give this five foot tall Latino that hungers for change, but has a great taste for Chinese cuisine. You see, we act like magnets, opposites that attract us. If I'm the magnifying glass that sees in depth, and you're the telescope that sees the whole, but we break even to a 2020 vision when our lines of sight that once divided us crosses each other in precision, indescribable by most, because we don't think the same. But what we have in common is pain. And the tears on your cheeks speak volumes against society's definition of beauty, breaking past boundaries of bad boyfriends who could never see you as half the woman I see you now. In fact, they couldn't even see half. Because only 16% of the human body is skin, meaning they never dug deep enough to see within the rest of your 84%, so instead, I offer nothing less than special to the woman who keeps me amazed. So today, no more cliches. No more bouquet of roses because I know you like tulips. No more buying you things in pink because your favorite color is green. No more dates to a theater watching chick flicks because this chick likes horror films. No more asking you to dances with paper posters in front of a crowd at school that obligate you to say yes because you're the best thing that's ever happened to me and you deserve not just better, but different. Because I'm not your knight in shining armor, and you're not my princess in distress, and yet we found treasure in the warmth of our chest. Our lips pressed together, igniting enigmas at the curiosity of our touch. A fairy tale story never told twice. We are two youths converge in our roads away from innocence, and our steps forward will be the ones less taken because every day with you is something new, something different, something mutual in the hidden truthfulness of our times together.
Answers embedded in the emotions I feel when my hands are reeled around your waist, embracing the fact that we're both holding someone that we never knew existed. And I wish I had an answer for every question asked or how our story will last. But I have one thing that I know for a fact, is that you, you were never a cliche.